Good day everyone, Mark Campbell here with CompCams. Today we are going to take you on an awesome tour of our facility and show you how we make camshafts. From start to finish, we're gonna pick a core off the shelf, we're gonna laser etch that camshaft, we're gonna take it back, we're gonna grind it, we're gonna show you some of the specialty operations that we do on, on specific custom cams, we're gonna show you our awesome MSE or micro surface enhancement process as well. Then when that's all done and the camshaft is completed, it goes through QC. We're gonna take it up to packaging, show you how we package it, and send it out the door. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for joining us. All right, this is where everything starts with the camshaft. Once the order is in, put in by the engine builder, uh, whether you're buying a custom camshaft or whether you're doing a part numbered camshaft, once the information is entered into our computer, we come out here, a technician will grab the camshaft off the shelf, select it based on what the order is. Um, the camshaft, of course, as we talked about in our videos before, there are a ton of different cores, different materials, shapes, sizes, all kinds of things that go into selecting the right piece. Once we come out here and select this, then the process will start. We will uh, take this camshaft and it'll start to run its way through the entire cycle of the building and at the end we'll have a camshaft that is all done and ready to go. You saw earlier in the video where we were picking a cam core off the shelf. Well we skipped a little bit of a step and bypassed what it takes to get that core. So here we're, here's where we're at now. This is where we do all of our custom core manufacturing. So what you're seeing here is now a camshaft that has literally started out its life from a piece of bar stock. Now that bar stock can be made from 8620, 8660, 9310 material, tool steel. Uh, we have multiple different versions of tool steel. Some of that's been covered in the, the core video that I uh, did a little bit earlier as well. But uh, Everything gets engineered in-house here by our comp cams engineers. All the prints are made and the programming for the CNC machines are done. Once that's all completed, the bar stock goes into the machine, gets all the journals roughed out, it gets all the lobes roughed out, and this one particular machine is what we use to do the, the, the final rough lobe mill on the camshaft before it goes to heat treat. So all these camshafts that we're making here are uh, for all kinds of different applications. We do stuff for your regular daily drivers, but we do top fuel camshafts, we do pro stock motorcycle camshafts, we do NHRA pro stock car camshafts, we do World of Outlaw sprint car camshafts, we do race boat camshafts, we do Duramax diesel power stroke cams. I mean, you name it, we make it here. So now we're at the second step of the camshaft process. We are putting this camshaft into the laser etch machine. So when we do this, it's gonna get that awesome comp cams logo on it. It's gonna get the part number of the camshaft and also the serial number. That's kind of like the birthday of the camshaft. Everything from this point out is all reference to that serial number. So you can call us, get every bit of information on that camshaft that you ever could imagine. Alright, so now we find ourselves back in the cam shop. This is where you'll find our eight Akuma CNC grinders that do all of our camshafts back here. We also have another brand new Landis grinder that we have. We'll show you that a little bit later in the video as well too. So once the CNC technician grabs the selected core from the, from the basket that's brought back, this is where the whole process starts. The camshaft will get a dog or a basically a jig fixture that will get attached to the front of the camshaft. That's what locates the camshaft and, and bases everything off of the dowel pin on the camshaft. That's how we reference the entire process of how the camshaft is ground. Once it's loaded into the machine, 
There is a pre-programmed um, setup that goes into that machine. And uh, once they verify that the camshaft is set up, uh, they do a couple of quick checks on centering the lobes and the journals. And they hit go, and that's how your camshaft starts to be made. So during the cam grinding process, there are several different steps that happen. The first one is a rough grinding, or basically just, just getting it close. It's a, a little bit more of an aggressive cut, where they're going to take more material with a higher feed and speed rate on the machine. But then as they get to the final pass on the camshaft, it slows the machine down and also takes a much less amount of material off per revolution of the machine. The other part of the cam grinding process, which is very, very important to having repeatable, good results, is to make sure that the wheel and the oil in the machine are serviced on a regular basis. Now we have multiple different styles of grinding wheels that get used from, from conventional um, regular type grinding wheels to carbon fiber wheels and everything in between depending on the material and what we're trying to achieve. One other very important part of our manufacturing process at CompCams is to make sure that the machines are serviced on a very regular basis. This includes uh, basically a complete tear down, rebuild, uh, and, and full maintenance of the machine on a regular basis. This will uh, either be on cycle count or hours, depending on the machine and what it's doing. In this part of the cam shop, we have the most state-of-the-art CNC cam grinder that money can buy. This is our Landis LT1E CNC cam machine that pairs absolute precision with incredible speed. This machine can grind a camshaft at full speed in just a couple of minutes. We do in fact slow it down so we can get a higher rate of precision, but still is an incredibly impressive machine as far as how quick and how precise it can grind a camshaft. In this area of the machine shop at Comp Cams, we do all of our custom work to our camshafts. This includes installing rear pump drives on the camshafts, cutting extra grooves in the journals, narrowing lobes, and all kinds of one-off type operations. Some of the specialty operations that we do in the custom cam shop are things like dual dowel pin installs, narrowing lobes, narrowing journals, undercutting the barrel on a camshaft, installing a rear pump drive for like a fuel pump or a, a power steering drive on a sprint car camshaft, uh, and all kinds of unique one-off operations. In this area of comp cams, all of the surface prep, cleaning, and parkerizing of the flat tappet camshafts is done here. Also in this area, we do our black oxide process, which is used on things like our magnum and pro-magnum rockers. Also in this area, we utilize belt polishers and different deburring equipment to do specialty operations to camshafts, specifically on custom camshafts and things that have had unique machining processes on them that require a little bit extra finishing. This is the QC lab at Comp Cams. Every single one of our camshafts that we grind in this facility come through this room. We check multiple lobes, we check the runout, we check the journals. Basically everything that is ground or machined on the camshaft is checked in this area. All of the data that's measured from the camshafts on the ADCO machines is recorded in our data bank. You can call into comp cams with the serial number of the camshaft and we can give you every detail of that particular camshaft based on that serial number. When the camshaft first comes into the QC lab, there's multiple visual inspections done on the camshaft. This includes making sure that none of the lobes protrude further than the journals. We also do a quick straightness test with a flat edge on it. And then once it goes through those visual inspections, it goes into the ADCOL machine for a very, very precise measurement. All of the camshafts come through here and are measured to very, very strict tolerances. 
in the instance where they do not pass QC, sometimes they will get a second inspection to confirm what has actually happened or what is incorrect, um, but those camshafts will be scrapped. One other device that we use in the QC lab is the Zeiss skidless profilometer. It's used to measure the uh, surface finish of the camshaft, not just lift, duration, lobe separation, all those types of things, but the physical surface finish on the camshaft. This is one tool that we've used to develop the MSE or micro surface enhancement project that you'll see in the video as well. This machine is our MSE machine or micro surface enhancement. The purpose of this machine is to enhance the surface finish on the camshaft, but it's not just for aesthetics. The purpose of this is to create a much smoother surface and increase the bearing area or the load area that the camshaft has. The better the surface finish and the better the bearing area, the more physical contact the camshaft lobe has with the lifter. Of course, when you do that, you decrease the physical load on one particular spot on the camshaft, does multiple things. The camshaft will run smoother, there'll be less potential harmonics. Typical bearing area on most production camshafts range in the high teens to low 30% range. With this MSE process, we're able to get our bearing area on our camshaft to be on 90%, which is an incredible gain for surface area finish on a camshaft. In this area of comp cams, we have our plasma nitride machine. This machine is used for many, many different operations, but its primary function is to do our nitride process on flat tappet camshafts, and also can be used to nitride crankshafts, rocker arms, and all kinds of other components that we use. It's a very unique process as it can take as little as a couple hours to run a cycle or as much as 24 to 48 hours to run a cycle depending on what product is being run. So this is one of our final steps in the CAM process. Here we have the packaging process where we are uh, basically getting the camshaft ready to ship to you. First of all, we're going to basically put it into a plastic bag to protect that camshaft, keep it from rusting. Put it in the box. We got foam on both ends of the box. All the instructions, the cam card, decals, everything like that in the box. Packaged up, closed up, and ready to ship to you. If you look on the outside of the box when you get it, it will have the part number, the serial number, and all the specs of the camshaft right on the outside so you quickly be able to tell what camshaft you have. And uh, you can pull it out of the box, put it into the engine, and start to enjoy it. Well everybody, that's it. You got to see from start to finish, grinding a camshaft, MSE polish, the whole nine yards, packaged in the box and ready to go to you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the, in the box below. We'd be happy to, to try and answer any questions. Obviously, if you want to order a camshaft, give us a call at Comp Cams. You can look us up online, on Facebook, on Instagram, all those different places. But thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.